So it's a 1,000 litre bin, but it won't hold a tonne. From time to time, we get folks that are a bit confused about why a 1,000 litre bin won't hold a tonne of product. Products such as grains, fertilisers and pellets have varying bulk densities. The bulk density of any product is compared to that of fresh water. So here I have one litre of fresh water, which weighs one kilogram. Therefore, my 1,000 litre bin would have a capacity of 1,000 litres, which is one tonne. Now, if I tip the water out, I'll replace it with some oats and we'll see what that looks like. And then we'll have a look at some pellets and we'll come up with some capacities and recommendations what would be good for you. So here I have the feed oats, which are the same volume of product, but we've only got 671 grams instead of one kilo meaning that the oats have a bulk density of approximately 0.67, 670 kilos to the cubic metre. Now we'll try with some Venavite calf pellets, which weigh in at 687 grams for the same volume, meaning that the pellets have a bulk density of approximately 0.687. Therefore, as we've said, our 1,000 litre bin would hold one tonne of water, but it will only hold 0.687 of a tonne of pellets, which is 687 kilos. For most applications, we would recommend our 1730 litre bin. This bin has been specifically designed to cater for all grades of granular products and will comfortably hold a tonne of products such as grains, pellets, urea, and uh, of course, the denser products such as single super. They'll only fill it halfway, but you're better to have a bit more spare capacity. The beauty about this bin is we have a low centre of gravity. It's 73% bigger than our 1,000 litre bin, but it's only about 100 mil taller. So it makes it the ideal bin for everyday general use on your farm and throughout uh, your property. So if you've got any questions about which Jackie bin is going to be best for you, contact the team at Orion Australia and we'll gladly talk it through with you.